as, as bicycling became more and more visible. And uh, our police chief uh, and, uh, brought some, and, and Rebecca brought some ideas to the council about what to do uh, for, uh, for it. And uh, how many of you are familiar with what police do with the STEP program where they take you know, uh, overtime and assign police officers to go monitor intersections and, and, and ticket people who are speeding or running stop signs and stop lights. Well, the, the police department developed the same thing using data from our local regional planning commission uh, and the, the, what we call KUATs, our, our combined Champaign-Urbana traffic uh, uh, groups and uh, targeted problem intersections where we're seeing a lot of people running stop signs or with their bike pedestrian or bike uh, uh, car accidents. And so uh, that's where we're now basically doing the, the STEP program at those busy intersections. Uh, getting uh, pretty good publicity about it. It'll be interesting to see, uh, we've just completed, the students have all left. Uh, we'll be probably doing something in the fall uh, along the same lines and try to, to go after it. So, but one of the things about it is, of course, we set it as a $100 fine. Uh, that's more than a traffic ticket. Uh, you know, your first traffic ticket's about 75 bucks. Uh, and it will go against your state uh, um, driving record. Uh, so instead, uh, was it Rebecca? Was it you that came up with this idea? Somebody came up with a diversion program. Brandon. Oh, Brandon, one of our other city council members who actually got us into the bike friendly community business to begin with, uh, had this idea for a diversion program. We talked to the state's attorney, uh, worked with both cities and the university, and now we have an ordinance that allows us to use a city ticket uh, uh, instead of the state one, and you can substitute a diversion program that Rebecca is going to uh, talk about uh, in place of that $100 fine. So. Um, designed this program, the step program that Charlie talked about is something like strategic enforcement strategic traffic enforcement program. So they set up at the problem intersections and on one-way streets where bicyclists are often going against traffic. And they um, are ticketing bicyclists, and they do this at, at they do details of specific times and so on. And then they give the bicyclists a choice of paying a $100 fine or paying a $30 fine and taking a, a bicycle education and safety class. And so I, we taught the first class um, on May 2nd. I taught it and I did work with the police lieutenant who set up the program with me. We had, at that class, we had 22 um, bicycle offenders and we have another class set up for the end of the month and so far we have 15 bicycle offenders in that class. And the students were actually pretty receptive considering that they were there you know, as a punishment. I think that they all did learn something and um, they, there were some upset students that who felt like they were being made an example of and, you're only yeah. really getting the 22 people that are in this room. You're not really, you're, you know, I explained that we were talking about changing culture and this was one of the, so one of the, um, the components of our becoming a more bicycle friendly community and that we were trying to change culture and that this enforcement was one piece of it. And one of the students in the class said, but you know, you're only really punishing us. You're not getting to the rest of the community. You're just punishing us. And I said, well, I don't know, I think we're probably getting a little further with this. How many people did you tell that you got a ticket? And one of the kids <laughs> shouted out, oh, everyone in my entire dorm. And another one said, the 592 friends I have on Facebook. <laughs> and so they realized that we actually were getting a pretty broad audience and that people were learning about this. And that's, there's also been a lot of media interest. We've had um, two articles in the newspapers locally and on three different television stations, we've had stories about this. So it is actually <coughs> making a pretty big difference. Started ticketing with the fine. So I would say most of the students, I asked them, you know, so this was on May 2nd, and in our community, we have Bike to Work Day. We had it on May 1st, so it was just the day before. And I asked them if any of them had heard of Bike to Work Day, and only one out of the 22 had, which I was surprised, because we had a pretty big campaign and I thought our reach was quite a bit further than that. But so, I think most of them probably had not heard about it, so this <coughs> is their first um, encounter with the fact that we were working on a bicycle enforcement campaign. And what was the offense that they were charged? It was um, running a red light, running a red, a stop sign, um, going the wrong way on a one-way street, and not coming to a complete stop. All 22 that were in the last class, that, that was those three offenses. Okay, and what was the technical 
explanation of a complete stop. Does your foot have to touch the pavement? No. Um, so that's up to each officer, and so that's where it gets a little more challenging. So our the lieutenant who um, designed the program for the police has um, instructed them that they are meant to be targeting the really egregious violators. So they're meant to be targeting the people that are flagrantly violating these laws, not the people that are coming to a slow rolling stop and checking and looking both ways and when it's safe, then going. So, um, Complete stop for bicycles, putting your foot down is not required. A track stand is, is completely legitimate way of stopping. So, and we, we know that cars roll through <laughs> so so uh, I think turnabout is fair play yeah. on that one. So since it's Champaign-Urbana and the University of Illinois, um, the three police departments need to work uh, closely together. Uh, the, the University Police are authorized to issue Urbana tickets, Urbana ordinance tickets. So we have a, a great partnership uh, among them. And as part of all of this, uh, four years ago, Urbana became a bike-friendly, bronze-level city. Uh, last year, the University of Illinois Bronze. Uh, Monday, uh, the city of Champaign became a uh, bronze. So we have a project. <laughs> Jennifer Selby, who's going to be speaking shortly, was uh, was the city engineer for the city of Urbana, or one of the city en engineers. She got us through the uh, through the Urbana process four years ago. She was involved in in the Champaign one, and I'll let her uh, speak to that. But uh, uh, I do want to shout out to Champaign because. Uh, now we've got a real trifecta going. Thank you.